listen, okay? I get to it when I get to it. What I realize is I run my social media, my social media does not run me. Hey guys, welcome back. Did you guys see my intro? Wasn't it so cute? I did it myself. Yeah. But in today's video, I'm going to be bouncing off of the previous video I have already made about when I deleted social media and how deleting social media literally saved me um, in so many ways. If you guys have not seen that video yet, please go check it out. It will make this one make a little bit more sense, okay? But in that video, I just really explained how I felt called by God to delete social media because it was just destroying me not social media itself or else like cyberbullying or anything more so just like me using that as my vice to distract myself from like internal conflict and just other areas where i felt inadequate and just comparing myself and just all these other things so i deleted social media for a little over a month and during that time i connected closer with god i fasted from social media i fasted with food and i got closer to him and strengthened my relationship it was the best but unlike some people, I was not able to stay off of social media because of the career path that I'm choosing, which is modeling and influencing. Hence why I'm here. So I really did try to do the whole like offline model thing, which went okay. But if you guys are into modeling, then you know that social media presence is a big deal. And it really does help with getting your image and your name out there. So for me, I literally went to a fashion show and everyone's like, oh, what's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Like, you got my number. But it's not the same. It's really not the same. And honestly, I'm not even that good of a texter. So I was just like, this is not sustainable for the career path I'm on. And I did not feel guilty about downloading the apps again because I knew that that time away from social media really taught me boundaries and it taught me um how to not be reliant on it by the same time you know there was still temptation to just scroll endlessly so here are some things that i did that allowed me to have a healthy relationship with social media being a aspiring influencer a model and a human being so number one is setting intentions so my main intention with social media is no longer just to post just to post it's no longer to well, honestly, I never really cared about other people posting, right? But to be mindful of, like, the content that I'm consuming and the people that I follow to make sure that I'm not just scrolling, feeding into drama or feeding into, like, you know, lame stuff, you know, like, things that are not conducive. Like, I make sure I follow uplifting pages and people that I actually know and that I see good content on my feed. So being intentional about how you use social media and why you use social media will allow you to remain... Uh, grounded that's the word grounded when you actually use it number two is i have a time limit so i don't know if you guys know this but if you have an iphone you can like do like a screen time thingy you know on your phone and you can actually have it where it like locks afterwards and you have to put in the passcode so i used to do that before but i'm the one who set the passcode so you know your girl would just boop 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 boop, boop, boop real quick and go back scrolling for hours and hours and hours again so this time i had my mom choose a passcode and i don't know it at all and you might be thinking like wow you need your mom to lock your phone yes yes i do um and it doesn't have to be my mom it could be anyone but the fact is i understand that i need an accountability partner i think the reason why a lot of people fail when it comes to um, letting go of their vices is this idea that we have to do everything on our own and something that I realized during my fast and strengthen my connection with God is that I cannot do anything alone literally the first principle of Icarlism 101 which if you haven't seen that video go watch that video is you need to have a support system it's really hard to achieve goals to break bad habits to achieve anything great in life on your own can i say am i saying that you can't do it no but discipline and willpower can only take you but so far and for me i understand that me just saying come on to you get it together like you know get off the instagram it's not sustainable long term so having that guard where i limit myself to it used to be five minutes but because i'm taking like my content production more seriously i was to 15 minutes a day crazy i know so i have 15 minutes a day to be on instagram and i found that to be a good time for myself i'm able to respond to messages post what i need to post and get off the app period 
this really helped me eliminate the mindless scrolling because it also allows me to be more intentional if i know i only have 15 minutes a day to be on instagram i cannot use these scrolling mindlessly because in my head i'm like i have to save this a lot of time in case i have to respond to messages in case i want to post certain content because i want to do a b and c so it gives me to be more intentional and just be very direct about how i spend my time who i'm answering um what i'm posting when i'm posting and pre-planning my posts so i can be more attention to the content that i put out as well and number three is i don't have notifications on like literally i used to have my notifications on for instagram okay so it's funny like i don't know if you guys do this but i used to like post a picture on instagram and like hurry up and like get out the app because i'm like oh my gosh and like throw my phone away because i'm like i don't want to see like who likes it like i'm so nervous like am i gonna get likes like you guys ever post something and like get nervous right after like like walk away from your phone and come back like 30 seconds later like who liked it like yeah so i didn't want to do that anymore like i was tired of like being so like anxious about like my notifications so i literally just turned my notifications and then i was thinking like well tia like if you're an influencer and if you're a model then don't you have to know when someone messages you like don't you have to be on top of that stuff listen okay I get to it when I get to it. What I realize is I run my social media. My social media does not run me. So I'll get back to people when I get back to people. And if it's an ongoing conversation I'm having with someone, obviously I'm checking in more consistently. But if it's like someone texting me and, you know, obviously we weren't having a conversation, it was an initial message, they can wait a couple hours before I get back to them. Like it is a okay. Like I'm realizing that, you know, it's good to be like prompt with messaging people, but like, the world will live without me being on my phone 24 7 to respond to someone right away so turning up my notifications has done me just fine it's made me less prone to going on social media because sometimes they also notify you about stupid stuff like oh this person went on live and normally when i wouldn't care that someone's on live now i want to know like what are they doing on live so i went up the app and now i'm selected back into the app the final thing is get resources like i got a manager I don't have to be on Instagram all the time finding the latest content. My manager does. Life is simple. I knew that being an influencer is something that I want to take seriously, but I also know that I do not want to run the risk of losing my sanity over a career or over um, anything. <laughs> Nothing is worth my sanity. So I got to outsource. I outsourced. I think that's the word. I outsourced talent to do something that I didn't want to do. That's literally what I realized that successful people do. Successful people get someone else to do things that they don't want to do. You don't need to learn everything. You don't need to do, don't need to do anything. I guess the biggest slide, like, oh, I have to do this and do that. No, you don't. Like, you really don't do anything you don't want to do. Get someone else to do it. Obviously, like, you know, like get the right people to do it or whatever but you know like you don't have to do everything you don't have to be everywhere and i feel like that's another fallacy that social media has sold me is that like i have to be everything i have to do everything i'm doing every single app if i if i'm not i'm gonna miss out on something no you're not you are a-okay do what you want to do do what you feel like you can do and whatever you can't but still needs to get done outsource it and i really hope that's the right word and if it's not it's okay because I'm saying confidently. So that's all I have for you guys today. And if you're looking for more content, well, I have good news. I have other videos posted. So go get, check them out and subscribe because I'll be putting out more content in the future. So be there every square. <laughs> but as always, I'm grateful for you guys tuning in. And I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, life, year. And I hope you guys take this video and realize that it's okay if you use social media. You're not a bad person for using social media. And I hope this helps you see how you can be more mindful, intentional, and responsible when using it so that you can have all of your goals fulfilled while still protecting your mind. Take care and stay blessed.